What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Going to break down some classic Rage Against the Machine. Super fun, drop D riffs, coming at you. Uh, also, I appreciate that extra support. You can come sign the newsletter at martymusic.com for some free courses. The first comment down there, you'll check it out. Uh, thanks again for that, by the way. Here we go. All right, the key to this is being in drop D. So standard tuning, but just your E string goes down one whole step to match to a D. With that, you have the open here, the open here, and the open here, those three, or specifically the top two, you get a D power chord. That's how, that's how it starts. Then you get the bass player playing something that we're going to play later so that, that it's just bass going. I'm going to show you that in one second, but let's go into the next guitar part. So what that is is open the open E string, which is now the open D string, but 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 just that open string, but but but. Then we're gonna use our index finger and middle finger, and we're gonna go 11, 12 on the D string, and then 11, 12 on the G string. So we have this. And finally. 11, 12 on the D, ring finger goes over to the right to the 12 of the G and you bend it up a whole step and back. And it's almost not quite a whole step. Then it does that whole thing again. Then you have the open string, the open D, we'll call it the D, because it's been tuned down. So the open D followed by the sixth fret on the A. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And I'm using my palm a lot to mute it. So you don't hear a lot of that noise, you know, my palm's covering it. And so the last one is D, 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 squonk. And that squonky thing before the main riff is uh, the fourth fret of the B. And then the sixth fret of the G bending up to that same note. Classic uh, double stop bend, rock and roll style. So we have. So that riff starts with the open D. Then we're going to hammer on on the A string from the three to the five. Then I'm gonna hammer uh, from three to four on the D string. Then ring finger is going to go back to the fifth of the A. Then 
Then we're going to hit the open. And look, anytime you're hitting the open D, if you get the A string in there, you, you get that power chord and it's big. But most of the time, he's hitting it, the note by itself. But it's okay if you get the A in there. But now on this moment, it's definitely doubled. So it's open, and then two, three, two. So two, three, two. And you're playing both strings. You're strumming both top strings. And another thing, there is kind of a, a rest, but you kind of can hear a little percussiveness there like this. The vocals come in and it just kind of breaks down. You just don't you don't hit it as intensely. So the vocals come in and more palm muting. But it's the same riff, it's just mellowed out. Then it goes into what we call the chorus and it starts with the open D again, which is the, the key to this song. And that's pretty much the same as the riff too, the three to the five on the A string. But now it does something different. And uh, I didn't look, I'm, I learned it by ear, I didn't look if he's playing the note up here or right here, but it's, it's this note. I'm pretty sure he'd be playing it right here. I'm using my middle finger so I can kind of mute the other strings with uh, the rest of my fingers. Just kind of have my hands ready. So I'm going. And it's the fourth fret of the G. Then it does the same open thing. And then it's just a half step down to three on the G. Then this thing's the same. Then two. So check it out. So then I'm going open, two, three, two, three, two. So the second time, instead of open, two, three, two, three, two, instead of that, it goes to the riff again. Into a C power chord, which is the third fret on the A and the fifth fret on the D. And now we're into this octave thing where we're gonna hit uh, the fifth fret on the A string with the index and the seventh fret on the G string with the ring finger. And I'm using my index finger to mute the strings I don't want. I only want the note D and D, they're octaves. So the fifth on the A and the seventh on the G are the only notes I wanna hear. I'm using my index finger to mute the other strings. The tip of the finger is down on the note and I'm also muting this top D string here with the tip of my finger as well. So what you end up getting is just hearing that and that, but the percussiveness of the other strings that we're muting with the index finger. And we go da da da. Now the dude told you. Now the dude with the told you. Now the dude with the 
told ya. Now they do what they told ya. So then, then you can get percussive stuff. Da da da, chicka ticka ticka, and you mute it. And for the next section, you're going to want to be doing the the uh, the paintbrush wishy washy move with your right hand. And so we're we're going one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and da 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 da. And so I'm squeezing down on the octave da 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 da. But my right hand is just going like that. We go da 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 da. So we're going da 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 da. Then I'm grabbing the top two strings here on the third fret, followed by the fifth. So those are power chords. And then I'm grabbing that C note, the third fret of the A, into the move again. Start from the beginning now. So we start with big pow open power chord. <laughs> Bass. Boom, 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 bing, 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 boom, 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 boom. Now we go into our next move with the open D. <laughs> Now we have the open D followed by the six on the A. And on the last one, A mod. So we have the main riff of the song, right? Breaks it down. Followed by the chorus, which is half of the beginning riff, followed by a descending thing on the G string. So that second time, C power chord into the octave. So look, from the C power chord, my ring finger hops over to the octave instead of the power chord. So then we have that building up into a new riff. And that gets you all the parts pretty much except for the guitar solo. So we so it does do a few little things at the end. At the end there's an extra guitar part that's just covering this kind of blues thing. But the other riffs are still in there, so this is like an extra thing. But that's just in the D minor pentatonic. It's the 10 across G, B, and high E. But right before that, 
part, there's just a buildup. The bass player's just sitting on a D note, and the guitar is just kind of randomly building it up with noise of some half steps. He's jumping around, but you just kind of build up with noise. into that thing again, and then it has a as the end. So it's just the octaves, and then a piece of that intro. All right, you guys, thanks again for hanging out for a lesson. Really appreciate the support, especially uh, that extra support of Marty Music, like subscribing, uh, sharing the videos and all that stuff. So thank you again for that. Uh, you can leave a request in the comments below as well. I'm always going through them. And uh, hope to see you again real soon. See ya.